Today we're going to review what appears to be a nifty and efficient product, the Life Straw by the Danish company Vestergaard. In the simplest of terms, it's a portable water filtration device that claims to make biologically contaminated water safe to drink. It comes in two models, a smaller one like this one here for personal use and a larger one for multiple uses called Life Straw Family. The family version reports filtering up to 4,755 US gallons or 18,000 liters if you're like the rest of the world and on the metric system and can last a family of five up to three years. However, this review will be on this personal model with the idea that if you're out hiking or in an emergency or survival situation, you'd presumably have a device that allows you to safely drink available and suitable water until you're able to get to a clean water source. Now, the, this personal device here claims to remove 99.99999% of bacteria, things like E. coli and so forth, and 99.9% .9 of protozoa, which are small, single-celled animals that I'm sure you want swimming around in your body. <laughs> but, uh, for, well, and for what it's worth, it meets the United States Environmental Protection Agency drinking water standards. Now, it also reportedly filters 264 gallons, or 1,000 liters. Uh, its overall length is 9.25 inches, 23.5 centimeters, and is made of a light, durable plastic, so its weight is negligible. I weighed it in at, I think, 1.78 ounces, um, 50 grams, I think that was. It comes with a string, so it can be worn around the neck. Again, it's not heavy at all. Uh, an older version used to include iodine to kill the bacteria, but as of 2012, all devices, all of these devices are chemical-free, relying only on the microfiber micro filtration process instead. I got mine from Amazon for $14.99, US dollars that is. The way it works is not unlike any other straw. You place one, in the, one end in the water and suck on the mouthpiece as you, and as you draw water in it gets filtered through fibers that have small pores of 0.2 microns across and this is where water gets filtered dirt, bacteria, and parasites get trapped into the fibers allowing clean water to flow through. And when you're done drinking, you blow air out of the straw to clear out the filters so it seems simple enough. The product has reportedly been awarded uh, several awards uh, and I'm not sure you know what all these awards are for but I know the Saatchi and Saatchi Award for World Changing Ideas Esquire's Innovation of the Year Award, uh, the WellTech Award for Innovative Technology, and Time Magazine's Best Innovation Award. It's also been listed by Forbes as, or at least it was listed by Forbes as, one of the 10 things that will change the way we live in 2006. Well, take that for what it's worth. I mean, it might not have changed your life, but I'm sure it had a positive effect on someone's. Now, one of the criticisms I've read has more to do with the socio-economic concerns of underdeveloped countries, and instead of tackling the problems of poverty faced by many around the world with permanent solutions, offering devices like this is somewhat of a slap in the face. Uh, now, my goal here isn't to address those particular concerns, which are valid to a point, but it's more to see if the device is viable for emergency and temporary use. I'm going to assume most people watching this typically have access to clean running water, but anyone at any time can find themselves in a situation someday where something like this, if it works, could be very useful. Well, now we're going to go head outside and see what it's like in action. All right, we're outside now in the beautiful countryside of Virginia, and it is hot. We are going to go ahead and put the life straw to the test. There is a creek running right here behind me. You'll see here in a moment. And we're going to 
attempt to get this done as quickly as possible before I burn up out here in the sun. So let's go ahead and see what it's like. Okay, we're out here in the water. Water's nice and clear, a little bit cold. I guess the, the concern would be that no matter how clear water is, it's still filled with parasites and, and bacteria and all sorts of things that, again, you don't want to have running around in your system. And when you encounter water like this, obviously the best thing that you'll want to do is boil it, but the purpose for the life straw is when you're in situations when you're unable to. So in theory, we should be able to just pop off the cap here on the end. Well, I guess there's caps on both ends. We're going to put the life straw in the water and we're going to draw it in and see what happens. Got some? And I got to be honest, it tastes fine. I could drink this water all day and uh, I have about 264 gallons of filtration in the life straw so I could indeed be out here all day. I plan to come out here and have a chair in the water later and by all means bring in the life straw if, unless I want to bring bottled water I can but if I wanted to I could just bring my life straw lean over and sip water out of this creek here all day long. Of course, we'll have to do a follow-up and see how I feel in about a few hours. <laughs> well, so it says after you drink, you're supposed to just blow it out. And that's supposed to clear the filtration device. But uh, I'll check to see if there should be any washing and then we'll include that in any follow-up. So. As far as I'm concerned, the life straw, it passes the taste test. The question will be is, will my system like the water that I just consumed? And we'll have to wait and see. So thanks for watching and we'll tune in later. Well, I'm happy to say there were no side effects from drinking the water from the creek. I didn't taste it without the life straw to see if there was a difference, but it was as good as just about any other water I've had. As you could see in the demonstration, it's very easy to use. There's no maintenance other than to just keep it protected. There's no need to wash it out afterwards, at least not beyond blowing it out and then wiping off the mouthpiece. The instructions only say to leave both caps open to dry. It's important to note that the life straw does not filter out viruses, but will protect against most bacteria and parasites if used properly. I know there are many water filtration devices out there, but when it comes to something you can grab quickly and is easy to use and won't take up too much space in your bug out bag, I definitely give the life straw a thumbs up. Take it with you when hiking, camping like I just was, or out on a boat. Just remember that it must be used in fresh versus salt water and never in water that's been chemically treated. Thanks for taking the time to watch this life straw review and I do hope it helps. Take care and enjoy the great outdoors.